I'm going to teach you about how to read weather maps and how to use the symbols on weather maps that meteorologists use like for the news um, for how to predict the weather. You might be like, how do they know what's going to happen? Now they can only do a good guess, but they use weather maps and symbols like this to figure out what's going on. So you will have this also. I want you to notice that at the bottom there is a map key that explains what everything is and I know you probably can't see that but you will have access to this. So let's first talk about a low pressure system. You see the low pressure symbol right here and that is a red L. Now, I teach my students that low pressure usually means it's lousy weather. Low pressure, lousy. Low pressure, lazy. These are kind of the days that when you look outside just make you want to stay indoors. Now, I always have some students who are like, I love the rain. Okay, well, usually that stops people from wanting to go outside and makes them a little bit lazier. So low pressure is it says it's associated with warm moist air uh, with that produce storms and strong winds so our low pressure systems is going to be stormy uh, days rainy stormy days high pressure is the opposite high pressure is a blue h and this is when it's cool um cool dry air gives us fair weather and light wind. So fair weather means it's good, out, it's nice outside, sunny, clear skies. High pressure, I teach my students it must be a happy day. And I'm one of those people who really likes the sun. I really like when it's clear skies, not too many clouds. And that is generally associated with high pressure. So if we saw by Houston, Texas, a high pressure symbol, we should know that there probably will not be rain at all that happens, okay? A cold front is pretty much what it says. It is this blue line with blue triangles. The triangles face the direction that it is moving. So it's pointing to where it's going. It's pointing to where it's going. And this has cold air behind it. It's bringing cold air with it. So the cold air, cold air is behind the front, but as it moves, it brings the cold air with it. A warm front is the opposite. It brings warm weather, and you can see that there are, um, it is represented as a red line with red half circles. It has red, and again, those half circles are pointing the direction that it's moving. So the warm air is behind it, and it is moving, it's bringing the warm air with it, okay? So now let's practice. Okay, so if I were to try to make a prediction, let's say for Utah, UT. If I were to say, what do you think the weather will be like tomorrow? Let's say that this is today. What will it be like tomorrow? Well, I can see that a cold front is pointing in this direction. So it's very possible that by tomorrow, that cold front will have passed by, which means it brought cold air with it. So I could make a prediction that says, I think tomorrow the temperatures will decrease or be colder. Now, let's actually work on our assignment together. I'm going to do the first one with you, which is Alabama. Alabama. Now, I have to find Alabama on the map. Alabama, and I should know where it's located, is right here. Okay, so I don't need to look at everything else. I need to look at Alabama. And I notice that there is a high pressure system. It is really close. So I would describe the weather in Alabama. I don't know what temperature it is. 
I don't know anything except that there is a high pressure system here. So I need to remember what high pressure means. And if I forgot, I use my reference guide. It says cool dry air associated with fair weather and light wind. Now, I don't want you copying this word for word. So Alabama, I would say that there was um, fair weather And let's interpret what fair means. Fair means it's clear skies and maybe it's sunny. It also says light wind. And I could put cool and dry. I don't need to write this whole thing. This is called a summary. I do not want you copying every word for word from here. I need you to make some sense of it, okay? So we said Alabama, it ha all it has is a high pressure system. Right now it's probably fair weather, clear skies and sunny, light wind, cool and dry, okay? You are going to try these now for Nevada, Wyoming, Ohio, and Nebraska, and you're going to do the best that you can. Again, use the map symbols one, again, when you see a frontal system, a cold front or a warm front, the, the triangles or the half circles are actually pointing the direction that it will move. Okay? And then the, the colder temperature, the colder air behind the cold front is behind it. It's behind it. And as it moves, it brings it with it. And same with the warm front, it's behind. So since this one's going this way, the warm air is behind it. And as it moves, it will bring that warm air with it. Good luck.